Hey carpoolers, today is Friday, December 15th, and it is Friday. It is not payday, but I'm still excited about it, because um, the next two days, I'm off. So, this week's been kind of rough for me. The first couple days were good and gung-ho, and then the last couple days have just kind of felt real run down. Um, I've been trying to watch my carb intake, and of course, you know, lower calories and higher protein. I'm feeling tired, but and I'm sure it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm averaging about five hours of sleep a night, which is a big no-no. That's something that the doctor went over with me. I need to start getting trying to get eight hours of sleep, and it's hard. It's hard. I work full time. I'm a full time mama. I got responsibilities to do when I get home, you know, and the cooking, the homework, the you know, baths and making lunches, and y'all feel me. You know what life is. It's, it's hard to get eight hours of sleep and I'm up, you know, 3.45 in the morning, my alarm starts going off and I hit snooze until, you know, the bare nitty gritty where I've got to just roll out of bed. So it, it's rough. So yesterday, um, I got home from work and I, I did have a headache yesterday and I told little Bill, go ahead and get started on your homework. I'm going to lay down for a minute and I slept and I did not get up until it was time to go to work this morning. The old Fitbit app said I slept 12.2 hours and I must have needed it because today I feel pretty good. I'm tired, but it could have been a little bit oversleep. I'm, I'm not sure. It's just that time of day and it's gloomy outside. It's, you know, chilly and gloomy, so I'm sure that has a bunch to do with it too. But it's Friday and I'm excited. So, unfortunately, I am so sorry I do not have a weight update for you this morning. I had every intention of weighing this morning so I could present my weight in this video and I was kind of really wanting to know as well um, and I completely forgot by the time I got out the door and got in the car I was like oh don't you're supposed to weigh in this morning and I completely forgot I did have to go to LabCorp this morning um, like some of y'all know what that means I had to go have labs done this morning because the bariatric doctor wanted to check my cortisol levels even though last time I had them checked they were pretty normal but you know, since I have a, a few symptoms, she just wanted to make sure, and plus she's running the TS4, um, checking the thyroid and the blood glucose and it, just all that stuff that they check. So I had to get that done. Um, I made an appointment for my primary, which I'll be seeing the day after Christmas, which will be December 26th in the morning. I've made that appointment for a quote unquote physical. Um, but really, I'm going for her to sign off on my uh, paperwork saying I'm healthy enough to have surgery. So I guess that's kind of a physical right. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make sure that appointment wasn't until after um, my labs were done. And I know cortisol come, sometimes can take like up to a week to get the proper results in. So I wanted to make sure there was a good week or so out before I saw the primary. So she could be able to pull up my labs and be like, do, 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 do. Okay, I agree. Um, I'm kind of worried about this appointment because my primary has been, I don't see her very regularly, maybe once every three years or so, and every time I go to see her, small town, um, she's a tiny, petite, skinny woman, and every time I see her, she gives me a tongue lashing about being overweight, and I need to diet and exercise, da, 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 da. and I tell her I am dieting and exercising, and I'll lose 10 pounds, and gain 10 pounds, and lose 20 pounds, and gain 25 pounds. So, I, she's very conservative, and I have a feeling that she's going to look at this and go, ST, seriously, why, why are you doing this? You just need to be committed and diet and exercise. I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading too far into it, and I pray that I'm completely wrong, but I have a feeling that she's going to give me some flack about it. And honestly, just give me some flack and then sign the damn paper, okay? Sorry, I got ugly there. Um... Anyhow, I, I'm just worried about that. I have a feeling that that's going to be an issue. I don't want it to be an issue. I want it to go smoothly, but we can't always have what we want. So, uh, anyhow. So, I'm just moving along, trucking along, still using the Fitbit app, still watching it. Um, let's see. I'm still struggling with the whole counting calories thing. It, it's tough. Um, like I said, you know, I'd much rather not be eating carbs or staying under a certain number of carbs. That way, you know, the there isn't so much mathematics involved when I'm trying to eat something. But it really does put things into perspective. 
um, when you do consume something because some of the things I really had no idea and then other times I'm like you know what that's just not worth it I mean I like that but it's it's not worth the calories I'd rather eat this later or it's not worth the carbohydrates I'd rather you know have this for supper so it does put stuff in perspective and I know it's just a small fraction of what I'm gonna have to do after surgery so I'm getting my mind right getting you know going through the movements and stuff I've been trying to implement um, some more exercising. The one of the things that the dietitian told me that I need to start doing is getting on that elliptical um, and start, you know, doing that for 30 minutes three times a week or um, 10 to 15 minutes six times a week. Um, I haven't done any of it. <laughs> Honestly, I've been like going out on lunch break and walking around the building. Um, one day this week, my daughter had club at school, and I got out on the bus loop and went around the bus loop like uh, five or six times, and that, that was quite a bit. Um, and I, I liked going around the bus loop. I felt like a sense of an accomplishment, and plus it was like really chilly that day, so I didn't even break a sweat. I mean, I could tell that my heart rate was up and I was hot, but like I, I love the cool weather, and I like working out in cool weather. I, I may be a weirdo that's fine I'll wear that title but I do like working outside and working out outside in the cool weather it's just it's kind of fun anyhow so that was it um, I don't feel like anything has changed obviously if the scale did move I'm gonna wait tomorrow and try to get back with you and let you know what it said if the scale did move I'm sure it wasn't that much it's only been a week and a day um, you know everything still so, seems the same as far as you know except for the counting and, and all that jazz and I had to tell my co-workers I did not tell them I was having surgery but I did tell them that you know I was cutting back counting carbs counting calories counting protein uh, because the first day I went to work my co-worker brought me a bag of cookies for Christmas and I'm like girl oh no no no! she brought me a cinnamon roll from Hardee's a coffee tater tots because she knows I like them tots and I was like, girl, thank you so much for the coffee. I said, but I can't take this cinnamon bun. Literally, this thing was like this. It was a huge cinnamon bun. I had never even seen a cinnamon bun from a fast food chain that large before. I'm like, but, you know, I, I thank you so much for this, but I can't, um, I hate to tell you, I, I'm trying, really trying to, you know, watch what I'm eating and stuff. And she was like, oh, okay. She was like, do you want your tots? And I was like, no, girl, I'm trying not to eat anything fried, but I really appreciate you. That's so sweet to think about me, but I'm going to take this coffee. And I had already taken my coffee with cream and sugar, so don't tell anybody. Um, I did take a couple sips out of it, but then I took it to the bathroom with me and poured it down the drain because I didn't want to reject absolutely everything that she went out of her way to get for me because I was already feeling so bad that I told her that I couldn't have the cinnamon roll and tater tots, but that's the facts of life, guys. And then... Tuesday she brought me a sack of cookies because they were doing this thing at work and I was like girl can he be eating this stuff and she was like oh you're right I'm so sorry I completely forgot you just told me that yesterday and she was like take them home for your daughter I ain't giving those to my daughter <laughs> um they're still in my uh work bag <laughs> I actually was going to give them to my daughter but you know um and I and I still might but I don't want my daughter to gobble them all up either <laughs> So, but I still might, you know, give them to her and say you can have one, you know, after after supper if, you know, you eat all your food or whatever. So, and then yesterday we had our department Christmas luncheon because I guess a lot of people are going to be going out of town for Christmas. I am not. I'll be at work. But, you know, we were doing our Christmas party yesterday. So, did I say tomorrow? Oh, I meant yesterday. And I was like, they had Sonny's barbecue, and I was like, ooh, man, I was like, this is part of it. You know what? This is part of it. I got to buckle down. got to make good choices. So I did. And my same co co-worker was like, girl, you picked a bad time to go on a diet. It is Christmas. And I'm like, listen, it's always going to be something. It'll be Christmas. It'll be New Year's. And then it'll be Valentine's Day. And then it'll be St. Patrick's Day. And then, girl, it is always something. There's a 4th of July. It's always something. So I got to get my mind right. It's not now. It's just going to be later. So I'm doing it. <laughs> so what are you guys' plans this weekend? Um, are you guys going out? Do, do you guys go and like get your little family together and get in your car and drive around and look at the different Christmas lights one day throughout the season? 
Um, we try to do that every year. And we do do that every year. Um, traditionally, we do it the same night that our church has their Christmas program. Um, but this year, they always had the Christmas program, and then they have a finger food fellowship afterwards. Well, guess who's counting calories? <laughs> I did not want to go to that finger food fellowship because um, I knew that all those ladies were going to be bringing in their homemade goodies, and I was going to want to eat them. So I'm like, guys, let's go to the Christmas celebration at church and then go out to dinner afterwards and actually that was the dinner that I was telling you guys that I got the salad bar and got the beets that were just like astronomically huge in calories so um, we didn't do that uh, but that's the night we usually go out and look at the Christmas lights right after the finger food fellowship um, but since we went out to eat and it took a long time for the food to come and stuff it was still a school night because it was on Sunday evening and um, I didn't want little Bill to be out. I didn't want uh, Cowboy and I to be out late either. Um, and we had Papa with us, and I'm sure he would have been fine because he could sleep in. But we all had to get up early the next day, so we weren't able to look at Christmas lights. So that is something we're going to be putting in our schedule for this weekend. Um, I thought about taking little Bill to see Santa uh, tomorrow. The Our little elf on the shelf, Cindy Lou, is going to be bringing her her Santa outfit, as she traditionally does, um, tonight. So hopefully we'll be able to get down there to the mall. I like to get in and get out of there. Y'all know, I've told you, I got that social anxiety disorder. I can't handle the crowds. I order all my stuff offline. I ain't trying to Black Friday nowhere. I want to get in and get out. So traditionally, I'm using traditionally a lot in this video because I do the same thing over and over. We are up out of the house and dressed and at that mall when the doors open. So we can go straight through Dillard's, get online to see Santa, hi kiki it up take our picture and we out i i don't <laughs> i can't i can't handle it by the time this people are like rolling up to the store to get their christmas shopping on Esty's out the dope we're gone <laughs> i'm done and i do that every year and uh i don't believe cowboy went with me last year i think he went fishing or he was working or something but um last year was just her and i and our same usual we were in or out and i'm i'm always happy that um when a plan comes together i always leave and i'm like you want this spot this spot you can have it because i'm gone <laughs> anyway <clears throat> i just can't handle it and of course cowboy is um right on time with tradition he has only got one thing off of his list um he's always last minute shopper but that's cool because he doesn't have the social anxiety that I have so he can go shopping by his lonesome my mom actually has bronchitis right now so we were supposed to have a date night tonight and we were gonna go do some shopping together I was gonna try to take some medication and just take one for the team and get in the stores with him and help him out get stuff for his dad and um, the a few things that he wanted to get for little bill from his dad or from her papa because you know he's he's elderly and um he has a hard time getting around but anyway my mom has bronchitis so she can't watch a little bill tonight so and the cowboy's actually at his work christmas party right now so i'm picking up little bill from school and then we're going to figure out what we're going to do for dinner and have a girls night in and cowboy will be around shortly because he doesn't stay out too late during their annual christmas party so but that's all i have planned for this weekend i did all my wrapping last weekend so that is done and I've never done that before. What a relief. What a good feeling that is not to have to deal with that. Whew. So I, other than seeing Santa, I don't know what else this weekend has in store. I have a um, women's church. I have a women's Christmas party tomorrow evening, but that isn't until 7 o'clock. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so what are you guys doing? Comment down below. Do you guys have any weird Christmas traditions that your family does? Share them. Um, you never know somebody somebody else might adopt your tradition um, ours is the Christmas lights and you know the Christmas program at church and that's pretty much what we do during the Christmas and usually Christmas Eve if it falls like last year Christmas was on Sunday so obviously church and all that stuff but um, this year Christmas Eve is on Sunday because Christmas is on Monday and usually if we have off Christmas Eve we go hiking that's something else that um, cowboy and I and we usually take the dogs this is a trip that the dogs get to go on so that's something that we usually do um, we didn't get to do it last year because it being on Sunday um, 
So yeah, comment down below. And as always, if you like this video, help my channel out and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope to be coming back to you before the weekend's over with um, my weight to see if it fluctuated or all. It probably didn't, just FYI. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and stay safe. Ciao.